That was country singer Dina Carter's big hit from the 90s, We Danced Anyway. Well, now she's back in a new Christmas movie. I caught up with her earlier in today's Chatting with the Stars. <laughs> Welcome to DBL. Hearing songs like Strawberry Wine it takes me back to the late 90s when I hit my peak and when a number of women just exploded on the country charts. Can you take us back to that time for you as a female country artist? What was that like? For me as a new artist and having like a six minute waltz uh, about Strawberry Wine, it was pretty nail biter there for a while to see what was going to happen. but. In the 90s, it just seemed like there was a lot more room for everybody to come out and have a shot. Were you shocked by the success of your album? And by the way, best album title of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you, Did I Shave My Legs For This? I turn around to be sure. Did I shave my legs for this? Are you kidding me? That's hilarious. <laughs> A, how did you come up with that title? And B, were you totally taken by the success? Oh, uh, you know, I, first of all, I came up with the title because it was a song I'd written out of frustration, you know, being a waitress and having all these odd jobs after college, uh, graduating from college and, and trying to put on my best for my guy. <laughs> and he was not appreciating that every tip I ever made, I'm like, it, you know, Whatever, I was buying things to, to appease this person and they weren't really appreciating it. It was just going like that. I thought this new dress was a short bet for romance tonight. I mean, the success was unbelievable. It was um, long coming because I've been on the label for a long time, but that being, it was just a different sound. It was a, a, a different approach. Um, you did decide to take a step back from the spotlight a few years ago after achieving major success. Why is that? We were just um, all over the place and it was groundbreaking for Nashville, especially for new artists. So I didn't feel like I could stop doing that. But after like three years straight. It, wow, um, no. I really had, my marriage was falling apart, you know, my new, like first marriage and I needed to take some time to tend to my personal self. What a great thing that you learned to take a priority for yourself. And I think a lot of our DBL nation now understands that. So I appreciate you talking about that. I wanna talk now about uh, a country Christmas homecoming. I, I'm Jewish and I can't wait for stuff like this. You have no idea. Like I go crazy for this. These Christmas movies, they're super popular. Why are they so addictive? Why? Did you two love birds have a great time at Honeymoon Ray? We sure did. But we both couldn't wait to get back and get the holidays started with the family. Can't get better than that. I think that there is a button in all of us that really appreciates um, just wholesomeness, if I can say that. Yeah. It's a it's a way of being that goes back to when you're a kid. There's a subconscious comfort in it to me. Mm. And you don't have to be uncomfortable for any scene or there's no violence. You know, there's just this you're going to sit down and like be a kid for a minute. Yes. Um, Team Red here. Uh, we just had a great interview. I have a new friend, I think. Thank you so much for speaking with us, Ms. Carter. DBL loves seeing you. Thank you. Thank you. You can catch Dina Carter in a very country Christmas homecoming this Sunday, December 6th on Up TV. We'll be right back.